I mean, whoa, what an incredible honor. Although I can't say I'm surprised. It's not every day that YouTube is treated to such refined analytical prowess delivered by a criminally handsome personality. But don't worry, I won't get a swelled head. Now let's cut the music and get to the review. Oh, you got a show, huh? What's your show about? Well, I review movies. Ugh. Okay, well, I don't recall asking for your two cents. I'm not giving you two cents, I'm giving you the whole dang dollar! You review movies, I review your show! Your show is bad, period! Goofball, don't you have somewhere to be? Well, I'm a ghost, so I have the next eternity open. Why are you dressed as Donald Tramp? Honestly? I don't know, I just like playing dress up, I guess. <gasps> Your political opinions are different from mine! That means I don't have to respect you anymore! <laughs> Alright. How come you say the word thematically so much? Uh, well, <clears throat> because themes are important to storytelling. I think you say it because you think it makes you sound smart. You do, don't you? I can neither confirm nor deny that accusation at this time, and I won't be commenting on any further speculation. You fucking creep. Uh, anyway, imagery. Now look, I'm not an angry person, especially since my doctor made me start taking these. If they gave me Tic Tacs again, I'm gonna have a very big problem with my HMO. Okay, goofball! For crying out loud, nobody wants to hear your racist jokes. Oh yeah? And people want to hear you squawk about movies like a fucking nerd? As a matter of fact, they do. Well, let's put it to the test. If you want to hear a boring, pretentious nerd talk about movies, click here. If you want to hear a horribly racist, bigoted joke, click here. Don't click either of those. It's not real. None of this is real. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. This one knocked them dead in heaven. That doesn't make sense. All right, get this. A greedy Jew, a lazy Mexican, and a Chinaman who looks like every other Chinaman walk into a Trump rally. Because if you say Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker Bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks, then I'm gonna say Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker Bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks. And then you're gonna say, did you just say Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker did Bunker? Did you just say Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker Bunkers now with even bigger chunks of chocolate chunks? I sure did, goofball. And let me tell you, even though the real chunks of chocolate are bigger than ever, my favorite thing about Grandma Brownie's Chocolate Chunker Wunker Bunkers are all the delicious marshmallow shapes in every box. Red Ruby purple hearts, blue rainbows, turquoise crowns, green emeralds, yellow chinamans, golden clovers. No! To get into the spirit of the holiday, I thought it would be appropriate if I discussed a film about the creepiest, spookiest, most horrifying subject matter of all. Women. Now let's get one thing straight. Of course women can't be Ghostbusters. If you make the Ghostbusters women, then how are they supposed to use the ghost urinals? Come on, think, people. Finally, I get to talk about a horror movie. And nothing could possibly interrupt me. Creep, huh? What is it, a movie about you? No, it's not a movie about me. And I'm not a creep. Are you kidding? You're the creepiest person I know! And I'm a fucking ghost! I'm not creepy. Now can you please get your glowing see-through ass off my show? Well, if you're not creepy, then how come you don't have a girlfriend? Uh, well, it can be hard to meet someone who understands my... Uh, I mean, my personality is very... Creepy? Pretentious? Insufferable? Not the words I would use. She's a loop, Burnbot. Whose side are you on? Now here's a word you see thrown around a lot these days. But why? Well, because for some mysterious reason that we still don't understand, all humans are born with a visceral, internal sense of justice. Well, I hate to break it to you kids, but there's no such thing as justice. The world's not fair and it's not supposed to be. Now suck it up and get to work for the rest of your life. I mean, look at me. I'm an able-bodied straight white man and I'm still miserable. I'm bald, I'm fat, every girl on the face of the earth thinks I'm a creep. I have every mental illness in the book. I have to sit in front of a computer all day. I don't have any money and not a day has gone by in the past 10 years where I haven't thought about death. Where's my justice? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't ask for any. Because justice makes you weak. I say make your own justice or die trying. And if I do die trying, then I'm taking all you fuckers with me! I thought 
this show was you talking about movies. This show is whatever I want it to be. Yeah, and apparently you want it to be you bending over backwards to make sure you never get a date again. Goofball, do you mind? Can't you see I'm busy demanding that a show for children adhere to my gross sense of entitlement? Goofball, do you mind? Can't you see I'm busy reprimanding people for sanctimoniously asserting their moral authority on the internet while I sanctimoniously assert my own moral authority on the internet? What? I just wanted to show you my Halloween costume. What do you think? Well, I'd say it's an accurate representation of how I feel about you. Hey, I know what'll cheer you up! Let's watch Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical adventure! I don't like Raggedy Ann and Andy. I'll have you know that that kind of schmaltzy, juvenile entertainment is beneath a strong, tough, and terrific boy like myself. Oh, really? Cause I think you love it! Well, I don't, and there's nothing you can do to prove otherwise. Oh, you can squeeze me, tease me, say I'm your own, but I'm no girl's toy! You, you can charm me, chase me, follow me home! home. I, I won't be coy! coy. You, you may not, not like it much, but I'm my own best boy! And not some sugar and spicy, lacy and nicey, sissy you're gonna enjoy! Why, you little- <laughs> I'll teach you to make me sing show tunes in public! <laughs> What in the blue fuck happened in here? Did you mess with the focal point on the lens and then track the camera forward? Shut up, you don't know Maya. Oh yeah? Why not? Because only smart people know Maya. Let me guess, you were trying to do something artsy. Well, I was trying to do a thing about perspective and Salem and the Puritans and the Vavitch and blue pubes and I don't know, I guess I fucked up, okay? Holy shit, look at your nose. And I thought it was big before. My nose isn't big. Hey, look. Who am I? Okay, goofball. Well, you know what? You're just being a bully, and I don't respond to bullies because that's what they want. It's the only thing that makes them feel good, and I think that's sad. Oh yeah, there's nothing I crave more than the validation of a pretentious dork who talks about movies on the internet. You know what's amazing? I'm a cartoon ghost with an irritating high-pitched voice who intentionally ruins everything, and I'm still not as annoying as you! Burnbot, turn the perspective off. Aww. Hope you're all ready to rest in pieces because this episode's about to end with a bang! Well, I already fucking hate my life, so yeah, blow me up. I don't give a shit. Fine, I will! Fine, then do it! Fine, I'm fucking going to! There's no bomb in my TV, is there? No. I couldn't afford one. Things have been tough for the old jokester lately. Well, maybe you should get a real job instead of hanging out in a dusty old warehouse all day. Also, why did you write ha 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 all over your walls? What? I didn't do that. Hey, who wrote on my fucking walls? That's just fucking disrespectful is what that is. Now this show is usually all shits and giggles. So you're probably expecting me to stand here and say something like, my favorite thing about Rogue One was when I went to the bathroom to take a Rogue Two. <laughs> Why do you know all the words to Raggedy Ann and Andy a musical adventure? Why do you watch so many documentaries about serial killers? Why would a man who knows all the words to Raggedy Ann and Andy a musical adventure also be a man who watches so many documentaries about serial killers? Okay, fine! I'm a creep! I'm a total creepazoid! I'm the creepiest creep who ever creeped out of Creepville! I didn't ask to be born a creep! I had creepiness thrust upon me! Ew. But hey, it's nice to be able to see a doctor for once without being asked to take my clothes off and pee in a cup. You call that a kaleidoscope? Oh, you crackers and your cultural appropriation! Let me show you how a genuine Astral American does it! Pretty tight, huh? I've been kaleidoscoping since I was five. The other ghosts used to call me Snowflake. It, uh, it wasn't a nickname I was crazy about. Goofball, you ruined my episode. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. If it'll make you feel better, I got some gossip. Yeah, all right, let's hear it. It looks like Burnbot has been fooling around with the microwave again. What? I thought I put an end to that. All right, all right, I'm not saying I am, but you gotta make him work for it first. For crying out loud, Burnbot, don't you have any self-respect? Okay, you know what? I think it's time we got a new microwave. And hopefully this time it'll be a microwave that knows how to keep his hands to himself! And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I was voted best show on the internet of all time. <laughs> What the fuck is this?
Dear Max, due to a miscalculation in my internal processing, I must regretfully inform you with much embarrassment that I was in error about the nature of the award Brain Dump has won. It is my sincere hope that this won't cause much of an upset in today's episode and will have no bearing on our professional relationship. Please accept my deepest apologies for this blunder. Sincerely, Burnbot. Well, I don't get it. Then what award did we win? What? Oh, man. Jeez, Burnbot, you think you could have told me sooner instead of letting me twist in the wind out here? Oh, for crying out loud, I've been making an ass out of myself. Now nobody's gonna believe me about sausage parody. You know what? Forget it. I have my pride. I shouldn't, but I do. I'm not gonna do this show for a bunch of ingrates who don't appreciate it. Hit the lights, shut it down, shut the whole thing down. Now we're all just gonna sit here until I have at least 20 million subscribers. Get out of here. Hi, Max G. This was my brain dump of the week. I hope you hated it. Hot Ticket Demon.com